organise a design Easter weekend and by the lockdown. Um, today we're going to talk about how one can stand out in a hospitality environment in terms of housekeeping. And so I'll be covering a few tips in terms of wearing towels and tomorrow we will be going over how we make beds um, on the yacht. So I have a rule, I have a three rule. You'll see that this towel was folded into three and I store my towels in my linen closet like this so it's easy for um, me and my staff members to quickly grab a towel when we have a slip over in our BMB. And this is the example I used on the yachts with my students, making sure that um, our team knew how to fold our towels, how to store them, and then quickly grab them and do a flip. Um, so I just want to show you, we've got a three here. And what I must remind you of is that when we hang the towel, we don't want our guests to see this line. So say for instance, they're coming through the store, I don't want them to see the side that's open. So I would hang my towel on a rail like this. So that the line cannot be seen. So there are a few ways in which I, I like to put my towels um, on, on the hanging rail. This, for instance, is a hand towel. What I often do is I flip it back. I then fold it again into threes. And then place it on the tower rail like this. Which gives it such a nice effect in which one can actually, you know, put something in here if you'd like, um, make it extra special for your guests, um, put your face towel on a fan. Um, but that's just an example of how one can display a hand towel. Then the same as your um, your hand towel, this big towel is folded into three. So what I've done here is I've folded into three. I'm going to take it over the rail halfway. I'm then going to pull the bottom up and over. And that way one can display towels really neatly. Both sides are the curved sides. I can then put my hand towel over it, depending on obviously your establishment and um, what hanging space you have available. I know some yachts are very different. Some have um, you know, your heated rails. This you can very much do on the heated rail. It's just a little bit more difficult. Then I'd like to show you um, a way in which we actually fold bath mats, depending on which bath mat, of course, you have, because this is quite a fluffy bath mat. It makes quite a statement. So what I do is I normally fold it and roll it so that it becomes like a, a roll, and again, that line faces the back when I put it against the shower. So it's really effective um, when someone enters the bathroom to see that a room is really well done up. And then lastly, what I'd like to show you is how one folds toilet paper on a boat, because there are many ways one can just do a triangle, which I'm sure you all might be familiar with if you are in the hospitality industry. However, this fold, what one does is you fold it in half, so you get your triangle, and you fold it then again to make a smaller triangle, and then this triangle then is folded up and over itself. And then what I do is I have a rectangle, and I create my diamond by folding in the corners, so you'll see that a diamond is then formed on the back side. I then flip it up and you get this perfectly shaped diamond to display. So really effective way of actually displaying um, the small things going the extra mile for your guests. Every cheese student is different. Um, everyone has a different way of doing it. But what I can say is that the threefold rule has gone with me my entire career and is really effective in terms of storing towels, especially if you are a busy establishment and flipping. But thanks for listening to the short tutorial on folding linens, and I look forward to showing